So, we are in Kinshasa right now. We are flying to Tanzania for the very first time. I'm very excited. Um, I heard a lot of good things about Tanzania. The people, the nature. They say people are very friendly. Very friendly, they say. So I'm very excited to discover that. But first, we're going to see my parents so I can say goodbye. It's gonna be my very first time to Tanzania and I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. To get things into perspective for those of us who don't quite understand where we are, you have two Congos, the Republic of Congo and the Democratic Republic of Congo. And as you know, most countries that start with democratic are never democratic. Anyway, so we're gonna be talking right now about Democratic Republic of Congo, which is the country of Lumumba, the great African freedom leader, Patrice Emery Lumumba, the country of Kofi Olomide. <laughs> The country of rumble in the jungle. The fight that took place between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. Oh, great left hand taken on the face of George Foreman. The DRC has had a lot of turmoil, a lot of wars, and I'm sure you've heard about it. They say it's about tribal issues. No, that's not true. It's about minerals. The place has huge amounts of minerals. Fungamwaka, a mine in the east of Congo. These men work so that we can make telephone calls. They're mining coltan, which is indispensable for the production of mobile phones. So if you have a cell phone, a brand new cell phone especially, you should be thinking about the DRC. Hello, so we are on our way to the airport, but first to my mom's place to say goodbye. Uh, Congo DRC is a very interesting place. Today is Sunday. You see a lot of people going to church. It's very Christian and Muslims as well. They live in peace, so it's a good thing. Um, brotherhoods beyond or above religion, which is great. Uh, it's exciting, you know, you see a lot of people going to church right now. Um, interesting. So the good thing about today is that we expect much less traffic jam because during weekdays, it's just crazy. You cannot move an inch from the next driver. So today's Sunday, it's pretty open, at least for now. <laughs> Yeah, I ate goodbyes. In town. Eh, what's that? Oh, what's that? So I went to my parents' house and I knocked. They were not there. I forgot. It was a Sunday. African people go to church. Nushka. Mama Zadi. Okay, okay. 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 Now my sister's calling me like, hey, I need to talk to you. You gotta leave some some money. <laughs> my mom is not here. She's gone to church. So I won't be able to say see you later. Not not goodbye. Alright, let's go. We have now reached the airport. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to film. Um, I'll see you on the other side. Uh, the flight was smooth. We took off 30,000 feet, but I desperately needed to wee. So I stood up, went to the loop, got in there, but I, I, I can't show you. Addis Ababa at 8 and our next flight to Dar es Salaam would only be like very next day at 10. So we had to go to the hotel and rest before coming back to the airport the next day and flying to Dar es Salaam. Yeah. 
So, we just landed in Ethiopia, in Addis Ababa. We're gonna be here for a couple of hours. I think we're going to a hotel or something. Probably take a shower or something. Sleep properly and get up early for the hour. I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the So, we've landed in Addis Ababa. We're just waiting for the, you know, the personnel to tell us what to do because we need to get to the hotel and take our flights tomorrow morning. I'm excited, I'm hungry. I wanna take a shower, relax. You know what I mean. I got it. Addis Ababa. So, at Addis Ababa airport, we had a huge, huge scene. I was just walking down the wall with my camera. I wasn't filming, and a security guard came running to me. Show me what you got in your camera, show me. Open it. Like, open it, like, switch it on. Open it. I'm like, dude, you need to chill. I had to really concentrate and keep my composure. He made a huge scene out of it. He called the police. There were like 12 guys, 12 policemen. Hey, you need to relax. And by the way, I wasn't by myself with a camera or a cell phone with people obviously filming but I was the only one subjected to that kind of treatment. Why am I being treated like this? But it wasn't nice at all. So then we came to the hotel for a sleepover because the flight is at nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, we had dinner. I don't eat meat, so I made a special request from the chef. He was kind enough to accept. He made me some spaghetti with tomato sauce or something like that. So right now I'm very tired. I'm gonna take a shower and get ready for tomorrow, seven o'clock. We're going to the airport and flying out of this way to Doha. Yeah, baby. Salam, Tanzania. Yeah, look how beautiful this is. So first thing first, I need to get a SIM card from a Vodafone shop so I can communicate. There's this Vodafone shop right there. So I'm gonna try to go and get a SIM card there. Petite sœur, je vois tu n'as rien compris. Tout est clair. De toi, il servi. My expectation for Dar es Salaam were pretty high. The president of Tanzania, John Magufuli, great guy, strong figure, good president, somebody a lot of presidents in Africa could learn something from, has stood very strong for his people. And you could see the work is done. Very impressive. So I'm looking forward to the experience. I'll share with you if you like to. Thank you very much. Well, I guess I'm gonna see you again very soon. I uh, appreciate your support, your presence. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hope to see you again soon. Subscribe if this is something you like, if you perhaps find it interesting. And yeah, see you very soon. Bye bye.